Hey, what's up? It's Annika and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's time for another debt payoff update video for the month of June, which actually, did I even do one for May? I don't think I did one for May. I didn't do one for May! Okay, so this can be like a May-June combined <laughs> because I am annoying. Okay, if you're new here, then welcome. I take you along my journey to paying off over $229,000 in debt. But my debt is actually moving to the back burner for a little bit because if you've kept up with my channel, then you know I've had a couple exciting house hunting videos come out. And at the time that I'm filming this, I am under contract for a new build home that is set to be ready in the next few months. So I'm super stoked and all my energy has kind of been shifted towards that. So I dive into a little bit deeper of like the process, why that happened, everything in those house hunting videos as well as my july budget video so make sure you go ahead and check those videos out and subscribe to my channel if you are not already but again with those things happening i'm training for the dopey challenge i just started a little podcast series called running on pixie dust make sure you check out that playlist that is linked on my channel and i'll link it above here too but things are happening we're moving and shaking it's insane I was out of town for May, basically. I went to Disneyland, and then June was crazy, and then a house came up. It, it, uh, so anyway, <laughs> let's just jump right into it. Since I skipped a May debt payoff update video, I will be sharing that. All I have left for my major debts are my student loans, one of which is my federal loan, and I have not been paying that because interest is not accruing and the due date for that has been pushed back so hopefully it just pushes back to death so i'm just pretending that one doesn't exist pretty much but my big mama private student loan i am still making payments to her so i refinanced my student loan back in like april or march to make my payment higher but to also shorten the term of the loan as well as lower my interest rate so my balance at the end of april for my private student loan was $157,691.02, putting my total balance of debt at $166,717.32. So moving into May, I made my minimum payment of $1,550.43. $762.45 went to principal, while $787.98 went to interest, which is terrible, but we gotta pay it all down. <laughs> so my new balance at the end of May was $156,928.57. Putting my total balance at $165,954.87. Putting my total debt paid off at $63,995.01. Which it's like slowly dwindling. It's so tough because I put so much money towards the payments. But because it's not all going to principal, it doesn't go down as much as you want it to. So it's also frustrating because the total debt paid off amount is not how much money I put towards payments in general, which I would probably should have tracked that from the beginning, but the number would probably just make me sad. So now as of June debt payoff, it's now July. So I could see the actual breakdown of my statements for my payments because the statement doesn't come through until the following month, which is really annoying. But again, we ignored my private student loan or we ignore the, the federal student loan, but the payment for the private student loan was, again, the $1,550.43. And $1,151.92 went towards principal, which is great. And then $398.51 went towards interest. Now, I'm not sure why it's so different than May. I didn't do anything between May and June. I didn't make an extra payment or anything, so I'm really confused. <laughs> like, does it just toggle every other month? Like, more will go towards interest. Like, I really don't know. So I might need to, like, contact the bank or something. Which I'm kind of glad, like, more went towards principal because then that helps lower a lot faster. But, which in turn then lowers the interest amount due. So I don't know if that's kind of what happened or... I don't know. But my new balance on that private student loan is $155,776 
and 65 cents. Oh my God. Putting my new total balance at $164,802.95. Making my total debt paid off at $65,146.93. So since I started this journey in January of 2020, I have paid off over $65,000 in debt, which is insanity. Like when you look at just the small increments month to month, it doesn't seem that big. But when you actually look at the big picture of that number, like $65,000 of debt have been removed from my life, like that's actually crazy. But like I said, I am moving my student loan debt to the back burner and not going to be focusing so much on putting extra payments quite yet because I am very focused on house buying and the costs that are all associated with that but I do want to make extra payments to the loan as well this year it's just not a for sure thing and I don't know when and that kind of thing so we're we're gonna figure that out we're, we're inching we're inching right along so there you have it. That is my May, June, 2022 debt payoff update. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.